All right, so with Autopano opened up, you want to select Select Images button in the upper left. This will bring you into your folders. And you'll need to navigate to the one with all the screenshots that you've taken. And uh, do a left click to select the first image in your 360 sequence. Scroll on down and uh, you want to hold down the shift on your keyboard and select the very last one so it selects all in between. If yours aren't in order, you can select them individually and, and open them. As you see here, it says open at the window. Um, but it's probably best to keep them all in order. It'll just be easier. So once you open them, you'll see them all in here in a list. What I do, I don't know if it's necessary, but uh, I select all these in here. As you see, they're all selected. Then I right click and group selection into stack. May not be necessary, but I do it. Now I've got the stack of images. See, there's 68 for this photo. I want to hit, let me back up a moment. Before I hit detect, I'm going to go into edit and settings. You want to make sure that you have your detection under the de detection tab set to high and 200. It's the max that it seems to go and this is going to make sure that all the photos match up as at many points as possible so you get the uh, cleanest transition between them all. I also have auto color correction and auto crop turned on and uh, yeah so okay to those. Now I'm going to go ahead and select detect. Let's see it'll run through this as it does all its magic. And over here on the right side, it's getting everything matched together into a uh, single panorama. Sometimes you'll end up with two. Um, sometimes you'll see one of them looks good enough. It's got 360 degrees. The other one is just like sky only. Um, if you got one that's 360, go ahead and use that one for these next steps. If it doesn't look like it has enough of the photo, that means that you didn't have the photos taken properly. It's not 360 degrees. Maybe you turned the camera too much and, and missed a portion and it wasn't able to stitch them together, so you'll need to start over on your photos. Um, but on this one, I got it good enough. You see it's all just one single 360 degree image, but it's not a little planet. So let's go into edit. Once we bring in here, really, it's uh, pretty simple. Like I mentioned in my uh, comment there, you, you select projection settings near the upper left here. And little planet. It's spinning away as it's finalizing. All right, now we've got a lot of blue sky. That may happen a lot. You'll notice that you don't need to go very high in the sky, and you'll, you'll still end up with a lot of sky. So. To make it easier, I still finish it up in Photoshop, but I, I crop it down here so the render, the final step in this program goes faster. Just uh, grab it from the corners here. If you're going to do any editing later on, which I recommend to tighten up the, the total size a bit. Just get a, a rough uh, crop going on. You can grab it from the corner points or the midpoints on each line. And uh, let's check the green arrow to apply. There we go. And there we, that's, that's the photo. So let's go ahead and tools, render, render. Now I want to make sure it's the maximum size. Up at the top you'll see got a slider bar or you can put in the pixels. I recommend leaving it the highest. So you get the best quality. I think anti-ghost is the best under blending properties. That's going to keep any of the fuzziness uh, at a minimum on those edges of like the trees or buildings that might stick out into the sky. And uh, I like to do it as a PNG type file at 16 bits and no compression or low is the, the lowest they give you. And then here you can name it. I'm just going to name picture two all right and uh, I have it just saved onto my desktop select render this part here I don't know why I didn't show it but there's a, a pop-up that you should get and it shows the process you know warping and whatever it needs to do to make the final photo depending on your computer this part can take a while 
Um, I think this part's pretty processor intensive. And when it's finished, you'll get a uh, green check next to it, a little pop up from Windows, and close that out. Close that window. Head to the desktop, and we'll see Name Picture 2. And there it is. Got the uh, little planet for your 360 degree panorama.